Delerick, how does it feel when you're on the stage? Shit, bro. I <laughs> Electric? Just, <laughs> like, before I get on the stage, bro, it's kind of like crazy, bro. It can get kind of wild, you know? Like, I get, sometimes I can get anxious, bro. Uh, I really got to pee all the time, bro. I'm not going to cap, bro. Every time like, I see that, I got to take a piss, bro, for real, bro. Every time, bro. So and that then, nervous energy. <laughs> yeah, that nervous energy, yeah, man. But, like... Bro. But then once I get like the mic in my hand and I hear at least one woo, like we're from one, like one just a little echo of something from somebody, bro. Like it, that it just kind of like kicks in, you know. Like it's mm -hmm. like I just have this immediate like it's natural, you know what I'm saying? It just comes like that, it just mm -hmm. happens, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. it just kind of happens. Yeah. And, hey, when I first met you, you were, had blonde hair too. Now, yeah, when, when did yeah, you change back, it back bro. to that. I I did that this morning, bro. This morning. Then I was like, I've got the show tonight. I gotta fucking do something, bro. I gotta do something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I, I have to I have to admit I have to confess that as much as I love your music, the song that I liked the most that you guys performed tonight was actually I think it's unreleased, right? The let me tell you a little something. Yeah, with with uh, my man Lex Lethal back yes. over here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that bro. that was an amazing song. And you guys both up there with both of your combined energies, that's like amazing. Like it blows my Hell mind. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm glad that you like that, bro. That, yeah, that bro. song is just so freaking catchy and just so... <laughs> yeah, it is unreleased for sure, but we're gonna be... I, he keeps on telling me, bro, we need to drop that bro. fucking song, bro, so we'll get, <laughs> we'll get it done, bro. We'll get I'm it done. We'll make it happen, it, don't worry. Yeah, we'll make it happen make it for sure. <laughs> <I'm so jelly. laughs> yeah, he's gonna keep every telling day, me every day. Every he's morning. gonna keep telling me every day <laughs> now. <laughs> and now that somebody else said it to me, bro. And my second favorite, though, is the absolute instant classic now. Um... Oh my gosh! I got a bad bitch. <laughs> that one? <laughs> no, no. Um. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. The name of your album? I can't believe. Zip that. it, bro. Just, right here, Zip bro. it, man. Right here, bro. I got you, bro. Zip right it. Here, bro. Zip it right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 man. You know, I I was trying to say it, but my lips were just zipped for some reason. Ah, <laughs> hey, bro, this is all planned, bro. He was plotting on that, bro. He was playing, bro. He was plotting on that one. Bro. <laughs> no, that's just my save, yeah, but. But no, he's good. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That was pretty clean, though. He doesn't have a plan, but he didn't think about it. Hey, bro. He's on the top, bro. Hey, do you want to introduce everybody here? Yeah, so I've got my man's Astro right here. He's also featured on this album right here. Uh, my man's Lex Lethal. We don't have anything dropped right now, but he's just got mad bars, and you know, we've got crazy stuff coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My girl Ember right there. Hey. Lex's female, Rissa. Hey. Y'all already know. We got, I, I popped yeah. out with a little crew right now. Everybody oh, else left. It's getting kind of late. You know? tonight, tonight was amazing. Um, actually, I interviewed Jace. He performed earlier nice, today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you know him. You guys know him. He's pretty awesome. Yeah, he actually, we rolled in together. So, yeah, mm -hmm. he's the man, bro. I love Jace. He actually... We're all kind of like working together, you know, just putting stuff together and like... And that's the way to do it. Well, yeah, man, like the smoke machine, the wireless mics, like we all came together on those kind of like... Mm. He really helped yeah. with like the wireless mics and everything, bro. He got the smoke machine, bro. I, I had a DJ, but mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to badmouth anybody on a camera. So. <laughs> but like, like, we tried to make sure that we all did at least a little bit to make sure this was a production, bro. Like it wasn't just... Just working together. Yeah, you know, like we're not just trying to like perform for these people. People are paying for tickets. They're coming to see like an audience, bro. They're, they're, like they're coming to see a performance. They're coming to, for entertainment. Uh -huh. So you gotta entertain these fucking people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that they're happy with the product that they leave with because you gave them a product when they spent their money with you. Well, let me tell you, man. Your energy on stage is amazing. Oh like, yeah, bro. It's, it, like, like it's incredible. Like you can tell that you got this connection with the fans, and you freaking jump all over them. You just. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of those on camera. I was like, I was like, this is not gonna happen this time. There's not as many people as last time, but I was just like, I was just, like, just let's do it, bro. Let's just, just do it, bro. Yeah. There was like two or three people who really like stuck that out, bro. They yeah. hooked it up, bro. They were like, who, bro? Well, like Tony and his crew, they're pretty muscular. Like they got. Some yeah, bro. Muscle. Tony hooked it up, bro. Tony hooked yeah. it up. It, bro. Don Flock, bro, getting out of here. Are you leaving, bro? Yeah, about to grab a drink, okay, bro. Yeah, I'll catch you in a second, bro. <laughs> Might have to cut that out. Uh, if you don't know how to cut, bro, I got you. <laughs> I'll hook it up, bro. I, I edit all my videos and shit, bro. I got you, bro. Uh, so. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so <laughs> Zip It is actually yeah. the name of Delerick's album that yes, he just sir. recently dropped. Yes, and he is um, creating some pretty dope music videos to go along with it. Yes, and you have, he has a YouTube channel, actually. 
that's just called what just just Delirik, bro d-e-l-e-r-i-q man Delirik, and and uh look for the actual channel not just the uh the youtube topic, bro. yeah youtube will make a topic for you like yeah i mean you could listen like all of the all of the streaming like like the songs if you haven't listened like the whole album they are on youtube they're on apple music they're on Spotify, like all that crap but like um but the music yeah. videos that you've been making and stuff yeah right? that's only on my like, channel yeah which is which is really cool and i mean a lot of work freaking goes into that because you got to cut everything up you got to slice and dice and it gets pretty crazy you gotta, bro. and then of course like the song itself and just like mm -hmm. planning it all out i mean that's a pretty major thing like do you it, know something crazy bro what's that the music video for make the moves bro me and my cameraman we rented a lens for a completely different it was actually for the world was still undefeated and then the rental car got canceled just shit like that you know what i'm saying like we couldn't shoot the video anymore so we put that video together in like two days really? and just like yeah bro just shot that shit and just fucking edited it in like a week or so and that's yeah now it's out you know what i mean but, that, <laughs> that's pretty cool um so is the next one gonna be zip it that's what i want to do next but like my cameraman just got a new job so he's been working he's been working a bit you know like we're not necessarily making all of our money off of this stuff yet this is still as much of a side hustle mm. as it can be but like we're still working on making it our main income so i was talking to mellow earlier because uh like i interviewed him and we were talking about how like um it's not just talent that's needed but you need like a little bit of luck you need a little bit of like just I don't know, like, you gotta have, like, Their intuition. the stars man. have to align, yeah. And, and yeah, like, there's intuition involved, plan, and I mean, your plan, your manifestation, bro, you gotta manifest that shit, bro, yeah, you gotta come yeah. up with, like, you gotta be like, this is what's going to happen, like, cause, like, my track with Caskey, man, like, manifest. track with Caskey coming soon, man, I've been yes. trying to spread that, we're spreading that now. Uh, yeah, totally. word out, words out, like, I said it on the stage, like, words out with, like, that shit's coming soon. Um, yeah, bro. My Kasky friend, and Rick. My friend uh, Trevor actually opened for Kasky once. I opened for Kasky as well. It was it's, I uh, yeah. on the 25th of like October. Oh, nice. It was that the same show? No, no. The, the, he he opened when Kasky wasn't as big. Oh, like, this okay. This was like a yeah. couple years back. No, but. this was like last year, bro. And nice. that's how I like really was able to be like, yeah, I want I want to pay for a feature from this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like he's got yeah. he's got it all, bro. He's got like maybe he doesn't have it all like <laughs> necessarily <laughs> number wise. <laughs> That that car alarm's trying to make some music. I don't know how far that's gonna go. Somebody, it's like, somebody come get their car, bro. <laughs> somebody come get their car. The car's oh, <clears throat> Car See, I work in a parking garage, yeah. and so it's kind of funny because like I have to hear that stuff all day long. Are you kidding garage. me, bro? Are you no, kidding me? Well, people will intentionally set off their car alarm to help them find their car, mm -hmm. which which is smart. Hey, bro. It's smart to do that as far as like it helps you find your car, but it yeah. annoys everybody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so you can make enemies because everyone's like, who has that car that just keeps going off <laughs> over and over? Then the alarm will stop and then they'll start back up again because like it's a big garage. So people are like trying. Yeah. They're on the wrong level and they think. You know, it doesn't occur to them. Oh, go to the next level to like try and find it. But they can hear their car going off. They're like, I can hear yeah, it. It's around yeah. here somewhere. It's like right above me, dude. <laughs> right. right? Um, human nature. Human nature is pretty insane. Have you ever thought about like what it is through like um, evolution or whatever that makes music appeal to us? Because I was I was thinking about this. I was thinking about if you're just in nature and you hear a loud sound, you probably get like a burst of adrenaline, right? It's like a, a stone falls or a tree, yeah. a branch breaks or something, right? And so I think music kind of captures some of that, yeah. but then you put it into, you combine the soothing aspect of like, like there's all this stuff mentally, right? That like triggers triggers things and then combine it with the lyrics and then all of it bro yeah all, all of, of it, it bro. yeah there's like there's a whole psychology involved yeah it gives you the adrenaline you know it boosts your serotonin in your brain you know what i'm saying but at the same time there's so many different feelings that like a, any song could give you man and it, like it just depends on how you take that song so like however you take that song if you take it as a sad song and it makes you sad it's gonna probably make you sad if you're if you're taking it as a a hype track and you love this fucking song it's probably going to turn you up a little bit yeah. you know you have to like it's going that's going to like i feel like no matter what that sound of music hits your ears bro and you kind of just like, that you got to tap you your foot vibe, bro. bro you got to do yeah, something you're going to yeah. be mellow you're going to be yeah, mm -hmm. moving around bro. your head bro your your hair bro so what what got you guys into hip hop fuck 
I mean, like, I like being a rapper, you know what I'm saying? But I would say I'm a, just an artist, bro. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a musician. I'm an artist, you know? But, but it influences, it influences you. Oh, yeah, like, I have a lot of hip-hop influences. I know he's, like, crazy with hip-hop, you know? That's his, that's his shtick over there. It's hip-hop. He's more of, like, an electronic, you know, like... He's gonna tell you know, guys a little something about hip-hop. Yeah, when who he, knows what this guy's gonna put out, bro? Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know, hip-hop, it just, like... There's so many different kinds of hip hop too, you know, that you can make a sad hip hop song, you can make like a, a hype hip hop song, you can make it intermediate, just like like a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Just something you could tap your foot to and nod your head, you know what I'm saying? Maybe sing a couple of the words if you know them, you know? Mm. Like hip hop is such a versatile yeah, genre, you can make it you can make it anything, bro. It's kinda interesting, like to me, that something that because rap, when it first came out, everyone was just thinking just like just pure like I don't know, just like hard and criminal gangster stuff yeah, yeah. but but the thing is though like it it's so much more than that it's about people's emotions and just like putting their hearts out there you know what i mean it's like yeah. it, it for some reason there's something about it that lets people express themselves or feel at liberty to express themselves yeah. where they 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 usually you know like things I, I see people put things in their music that they would never just like sit there and just say to like random people you know well like that's part of storytelling you know like eminem was a big story to i and like my song yeah that's me that's a big st you know like a, i just was like i'm not gonna lie like we all kind of have fucked up heads that's the only reason we're able to be an artist so if we're thinking about something crazy and i write that something crazy down it's just because like fuck it you know what i'm saying i'm telling us i'm telling a little story right here like people are gonna think i'm either crazy or they're gonna be like bro this is fire you know he's telling a good ass little like Obviously, it's bullshit. Like, a lot of people know, like, when I'm talking about shooting your dad in the head because I pawned all of your stuff because I killed you and then he wants it back. That type of shit, bro. Like, that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do that, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like, like Eminem has said in multiple songs, you know, like, if you think I really do this shit, bro, then just fuck you, bro. Because, like, I'm not that big of a criminal. How the fuck could I do the things that I do? How the fuck could I go about the, mm -hmm. the things that I do? Yeah, and then he's written some songs, though, where he kind of also expresses that sentiment. It's like Stan, if yeah. you, you guys are old enough hey, to Hey, bro. You guys have a great night. Mello, hey, Kaisa, man, you already know, man. The whole OTW crew right there, bro. Heck yeah. Um, but but yeah, like like with Stan, where it's like it, he, he depicts himself in that more, I think, like how he actually is, and then like his fan is someone that's like taking him way too seriously, right? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like bro. not not getting like the underlying meaning, the more human side of it or whatever. It's just and then when he does that type of thing, and even when I like, yeah, that's me. Like it's really just like an angry track to me, bro. Like if I'm feeling angry, if I'm feeling like I need to like just let something out, bro, I'll just throw that track up or like. Like, you know, I'll write a track. I, I, it's getting kind of hard to write a track like that because I've just mellowed out lately. You know, I've, mm. you know, I've just kind of, yeah. like, tried to balance my brain out a little bit. <laughs> I feel like we're all trying to just balance our brain out yeah, a little bit. That's what this bro. music's for, man. That's yeah. what this music's for. Yeah. Meditation, bro. Mm. Heck yeah. All right, you guys. Well, before we wrap this up, is there anything that anyone wants to wants to add, wants to say, any words of... Um, Wisdom or enlightenment. Add Delirik on all platforms. Hey, D E L E R I Q. Lex Lethal. Spell that shit out. L E X L E T H A L. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about, bro. Astro right here. Real um, Astro Nut. On Snapchat or uh, or on Instagram. And if you want to find him, you're not on all platforms yet, are you, bro? Bro, we're doing that okay. soon. We're putting him on <laughs> all platforms, bro. Soon. Don't worry, bro. Okay. It's just going to be Astro, bro. Okay. Get on his Insta for now, bro, to follow up. Yeah, bro. Yes. Just follow up. Stay be coming. ready. Yeah, all right. You guys are gonna hear a lot more from these guys right here because they got a lot of talent, and the stars, the stars are aligning for these guys. Thank like, you, man. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, you guys have a wonderful night.